ولا ما نهي؟ اه تيلا قوي تيلا تيلا I've been a bit sick uh, lately with the, with the flu I, I've been I've been getting some long overdue rest uh, yeah and I just go for a walk you know around the block but I just gotta wear a hat because I I've, I've been going to the swimming pool and coming out wet to 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 run to get my my program the, the chase uh, 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 and I run and, and forget that uh, my hair is wet <laughs> from, from the pool because I race back before it starts. <laughs> I cut yeah, no, it's flooding over here too. Yeah. Oh, flooding up there, eh? Yeah. Oh, you got more rain up there than here. It's been raining yeah. over here. Yeah. So uh, that's not very good. Um, uh, slipping around the place there or, or, or on the road especially. Yeah. Hey, um, I just sent you some stuff, not much in the email, yeah. but I, I got to get my head around, as I know I'm running out of bloody days, uh, to get yeah. some, <laughs> to get something concrete down, uh, but um, it, it's where to start from. <laughs> yeah, I, I find myself a bit confused because there's just too many documents, and I, I could flood you out with too many of them. Uh, uh, and I want to start from from somewhere, uh, just to make just to make sure. You see, because I, I could go one way or the other. Uh, yeah, I've got, got a few uh, from last time you sent me. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah, it gets a bit much, but it gets to strain through and see what's more important. Aye, aye. And aye. and try and stick to uh, one or two things. Uh, you know, uh, otherwise it gets long and stretched out. <laughs> and, and before long, you know, you're in China. <laughs> but uh, uh, we're, we're on track, though. Um, I still think um, that um, the, the um, financial side of things is important um, uh, in getting that um, uh, knocked out. Um, uh, I think I just have to try and get our heads together. I think um, most of all the main issues would be just me and you um, and, and one side and then Bundy's on the other side but when it comes to our own personal family then um, we have issues of the, I want to keep the Moriori side separate, se separate because that's more British. Um, on, on, on our title, your title, and the way we present it, uh, yes. I think you have to keep it down to not too many people involved. Yes. Um, uh, so that's what I'm saying. Um, I, I just want to make sure that uh, when you put documents together, it's confined just, yes. just to that title and uh, the birth certificate and the... And the means, Aye. the means of where they'll look at it, um, and yeah. follow follow through on the other end. Yes. Um, so uh, your one is uh, more closer than my one. So yeah. so I've got to send you what the, the I think it's just four documents from the lawyer, and so to compare them. Uh, but uh, uh, the the thing was to make sure you got your one through. Uh, so I just um, I'm just uh, alert my friends on the other end because they they are watching, Matt, especially Matt Taylor, Matt Taylor in in uh, uh, Brighton. Um, a lot of issues in Brighton now, um, where where we've got our political party there ready to kick off. Once I get uh, some funding, uh, then that'll um, bang that end off and make ourselves fit in because you've got problems in, in, in the government there and in the, in the government here now um, with Bill English here in a bit of a problem oh, and the same with um, uh, Theresa May on that end and Labour jumping in but UKIP or, or come up in the middle of them and Northern Ireland which is really the Northern Ireland is us and our, our Irish side of that um, uh, uh, titles here um, but I just want to focus on the birth certificate value, that and um, that, anything I send you, just throw them sideways as, as information that's you know, somewhere along the way. But, 
I'll, I'll, I'll put my effort in over the weekend this time uh, to to just getting those documents like those ones you've got and and yeah. compare them with what I've already gone through with the lawyers over there and uh, and uh, and, uh, and the Lloyd's Bank. Um, they are similar fashion, but you have to convert it on that other end to make sure they accept it. Uh, and Matt, 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 Matt Taylor, he's an ex um, Marine police. He's, he's a Marine police, and the other guys are going to jump in. Um, uh, Gordon Bowden, he's an ex um, military police. Um, 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 yeah, military police and Air Force. Uh, security. With, yeah, security and, and Patterson. Well, they're the ones that have raked out all the companies that are like oil rigs in the middle of the ocean that are not there. And all the fictitious companies. Uh, so they've got all those bills and things to put together um, uh, for when it comes to the time. They know when it comes to the time this pound note we have will kick in. Uh, and they're just waiting for that now, um, uh, really. Uh, that we, we, we're the ones holding the key here to, to save them there with the flag because they've actually got nowhere to move uh, with the... Well, uh, yeah, well, you, you hear what Prince Harry was saying. Uh, no. There be no king. Yeah, that's right because... They don't want a king. Oh, they, they haven't got a king. They yeah, so, so uh, I see Charlie sitting there in the seat. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is this. They have robbed us of our king that's already still alive there, the Ernest Augustus. So they know they know that. And I'll tell you something, Money. The world court <coughs> is King William the Third. That's our, our our contract there to to the magistrate court in Westminster Magistrate Court in Paddington, because that's where we go straight in there with the flag and you for us. Um, 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 Bundy is more more or less for the Cook side, Cook Island side of the Captain right. James Cook, and then yes. you're on the Manukau title. That's already over there, uh, yeah. and they know that one. That's the Freemason one with uh, Mohi and right. and the uh, right. Ratana. Right. The, the 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 Freemason and the Ratana goes together. They are actually commercial side of of the the the, the whole world title. Yeah. Uh, so we have to fashion ourselves so that when we go there they know who we are before we get there That's right. and That's um, right. um, uh, Matt Taylor's got his own publishing company so I'm just going to fire it and, um, across the, the petition through there uh, for the for the king because he'll push it he's a king Arthur he, he's really pushing it hey yeah every little bit helps but he knows yeah, yeah. He knows he's already been to Westminster with the with the flag and to Buckingham Palace, and they turned them away. But then, if we're there, it'll be a different story. But we, if we alert them with letters, like if you send a letter through, then uh, that'll make more more they'll more or less know the flag is is there as a magistrate uh, to um, to salvage back what the what the EU is taking. For itself, so you see, the Queen is coming. She's uh, already in, already gone to um, Brussels, and and sitting there ready to pounce and go, because she's already taken everything out and just sitting there to make everybody think she's still there. And the illusion is she's still sitting there, but she's got everything gone into our court. So so um, she's the wrong bloodline, you see. With George yes, King George the yes, Sixth, that's a that's our our side of the contract. Everything's contract, and so it conflicts uh, conflicts. That's why I've been trying to tell those people in Britain, wake up. Um, but um, um, and the Queen has orchestrated all the um, Muslims going there and mucking the place up so that there's chaos, uh, so that she can make it a quick getaway. Without, without them noticing that she's she's been booted out by the Muslims. That's what it's coming out in the media now. Now, now the Muslims want her to to convert to to Sharia law, otherwise they're going to get her out. So all those, yeah, that's what's happening right now. The Muslims are forcing her out, but I think she set it up with the Rothschilds to make it look 
like she's threatened to go yeah, and yeah. so she'll just jump and go right yeah. to where we are going to go and that's going to happen before the 28th when when uh, Peter Peroni jumps in with the New Zealand wars to make yeah. it look like the Queen's Maori people agree. Uh, you see that she goes into out okay. into from Britain and leaves Britain in a mess to hide her tracks and uh, all the wealth that she's stolen from us. You see? So um, so that's what I want to try and put my head around and, and get the documents together so that I'll just send you bits of it so that you can fashion okay. something and in that line anyway. It can't yeah. involve anybody else because it's none of anybody's no. business with this yeah. part. That's what I said to Bundy. The, the, don't jump into the, the Freemasons or into the Vatican because it's volatile. You, you've got You've got the, the Vatican with the Queen and the Rothschild right. banks together on that side, and you've got the Freemasons with us on the other side. So, so you've got a division of Scots, which are the Protestant ones, on our side in Northern Ireland. That's our that's our Scottish right. people, right? And then you've got the Queen Scots on the other side, which, 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 on the other side. Where, where that's conflicting both Scots. You see, half the Scots want to go in the EU and the, half, the other half wants to stay in Britain. Oh, yeah. So we're caught up in that mess, uh, yes. but we are the key. We are the key yeah. with that title, the native title for the rest of the world. Yes. And so if we do it right money, it's only going to take me and you. And then Bundy yeah. will look after the flag issues no, and the no. land. We let them worry about land because you and I are the bank, okay? Okay. The, the Maui Powerhouse Bank mm. is where you and I are going with that Moriori title and the Freemasons and we're going to go along with them even though I didn't used to like them but they are they are the brains of, the, of all this commerce. That's right. But yeah. the documents that they have in Scotland in Edinburgh belongs to Westminster, you see? The contract yeah. They, it's like you go and work for a company and you, you, you fill out all your forms and everything for the company. Those property belongs to the company, not you. You see? So, so Westminster owns the contracts, not Scotland. Although they have done all the titles in the world, they're, they're hooking them off to the EU Parliament so nobody, so nobody can see. And that's the part I've been watching them all the way through from the Lisbon Treaty. They signed the Lisbon Treaty behind closed doors. That was Gordon Brown, the Scot, and the Queen. I was I was right in the middle of it then. With Cook Street started on the 2008 Cook Street and me and Moi Manukau. That's when that's when I got Cook Street uh, started off in 2008 with him, wanting the land back, wanting the Cook Street back. Right? Uh, he wanted the whole Queen Street back. Put it that way, and the little church there. The Methodist yeah. Church, right in Queen Street. It's in it's it's apartments now. There, there was there was a, the church is turned into apartments, and that's when I thought, oh shucks, I'll have to go in because I wrote to them. I got all the letters. I got all the letters. What are we coming to take it? You see, but but it fell on deaf ears with the land information. They said you have no financial interest in the land, so I registered the thing to put his name on the title. As the Lynns are supposed to by law in the section uh, 152 or something of the um, Land Transfer Act, that, yeah. that we have an interest in the land, not a financial interest, but an interest in the land itself. And yeah. I'm trying to put the Monaco name on it to this Terawakato for the head of that Mark Moore was saying, but they refused twice. And so they're in trouble with that. They're, they're in trouble with that alone to take Cook Street back <coughs> because they've broken the British law <coughs> and, and our contract with the flag and the contract flag is the receipt. You see? The 1834 one. And now um, um, you know, Napoli is suddenly get confused when they see two sides of it. Uh, but you and I know, um, Bundy knows as well, that there's some truth in the fact that it was given to us to hide everything. 
to hide to hide their business, to hide their business. So all we do is audit the trust, right? We, we, we audit the trust. That's all it is, money. That's all I rang you up for, just to let you know that any stuff I send just throw it sideways yeah. because it does matter along the way somewhere. That's but right. it's just for reference, but we'll just stick to our, what we're going to do yeah. with with the land and, and the bank, okay? Yeah. That's all, that's all, okay? okay. okay. Alright, thanks. Yeah. Bye, have a good weekend, bye. That's money. <clears throat> I just want to say this straight out, that whatever we say in public is locked to us in statements that it's always best in front of everybody to make statements like this. So don't be afraid to say anything in front of the world because you own it. You, you own what you say. And when I talk to money, he understands what I say. And the authorities are looking at you anyway. They're looking through the camera at you. They can see what you're doing. So there's no need to hide anything. And some of those people uh, in Napa, you think, oh, don't show anybody anything. It, 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 they know already what you've got. So there's no need <coughs> to hold back. I'm saying everything we say, everything we write, everything we do is on the record in the open, in public view, so that it's up to anybody who's got a problem if they can't refute it. If, you, if, you, if you've got nothing better to do, then you can't, you have no say. And I'm saying this to um, Rebecca Brightwell. She gave me a hard time yesterday. Um, I, I just want to say she's a Maori, but with a European surname, and I go on that too because that's don't be ignorant of what I say, because the surnames do matter where you came from, and who you are, and who was here first. That's how it works. Who was here first, and how did you get here? There was no planes to come here on. Your ancestors, I'm saying, has taken a legacy of your surname all the way through, just like ancestry, the uh, uh, whakapapa or genealogy lineage, back where you came from, follow the ship of Admiralty. Follow the ship of Admiralty. The difference between one ship and the other is the Admiralty holds the power of commerce right through the well, back to the Magistrate Court in Westminster. That's where everything comes from. That's the blueprint of every title that's gone through Westminster. And we hold a key here. That's what I'm saying to money here just now. We hold a key, Matt Taylor in Brighton, in England. We hold a key to the King's commercial wealth and his inheritance as administrators of his business and ours. It so happens that his business is in the world court with King William III of Orange and that commerce in there in the magistrate court in there with this flag belongs there. It's part of that business. In fact, it's the most important part of the business hidden here by the Queen herself and wouldn't tell anybody what the flag really means. They came with no instructions, but a few mere words that have been altered. The Crown Corporation in New Zealand and New South Wales, Australia has tampered with this contract, the King's contract, and the Hapu Paramount Chiefs. There, that word paramount was missing. Manahi. So, Bundy will take care of that. Bundy, watching this video, you're the boss of all these documents I've got lying around here, of this land. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You're the boss because I can't see anyone else as proficient as you to look after it and make sure it stays intact in its pristine form of native title straight to our partners, the British Magistrates Court of the Royal Navy and the First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones. That's our legal partner, straight here, straight to King William III of Orange and King William IV and King Ernest Augustus V 
still living. He's the right king in Britain, UK. That's what I'm saying. We're petitioning him to go in as your king, there, Matt Taylor. No matter what, it's too hard to bring back King Arthur for now. We can make something for him and put him somewhere prominent. But we have a king of today that has the right of inheritance to the world court, the banks, and this flag to salvage everything stolen from the queen's side back into the king's side. Okay? All the kings are on this side because they're male dominant. This is female dominant. Everybody on this side, including that Rebecca Brightwell, is on this side. You've got a problem with your Maori land court title that you're trying to hook a land for yourself under the Maori land court. See? You're talking to a mirror of yourself and your queen title here. And I'm telling you, this is a king who put those titles together and created all the banknotes and title certificates. The Freemasons created all that. Uh, Reed Pecker, not the Queen. She didn't go on a boat and go out and do the hard yards. She just sat there like, oh, it's easy. No, she didn't do the work. She, in fact, corrupted the whole thing with these other elite families. They're going to get stripped by this side. I'm telling you, these paramount chiefs, Rebecca, will skin you guys on this side off that land once we get to T Marae Landblock and TB3 Landblock. I've got the real title here, Rebecca, and I'm very disappointed with you. In fact, you deleted yourself off my site because you couldn't take the truth. And for all those people watching me, I might swear like hell on videos. It doesn't really matter because you know which is the best bits in what I say. It's only mongrels that make me go that way. They get back what they put in. You see, otherwise I'm a decent talking person when it comes to talking sense and real titles. That's my profession in real estate and banking as a broker and transactions and things like that and projects to make documents work in instruments on this side. And here you are on this side with all the rest of your marriages fighting for land that doesn't belong to you, doesn't belong to marriages. There's no such thing. I'm telling you, they're all fictitious entities and illusions. You were set up to fail. That's why part Maori Party, Mana Party gets nowhere. It won't get anywhere because it's all fake. Made up. Just the same as the US dollar crashing. They make it crash because you, you can't see it. You can't see it. They'll just keep duping you. Keep pulling the wool over your eyes forevermore until this flag comes and demolishes them. Because it's the one that is the real authority to all that documents on that side. Okay? You see, Prince Philip took off. He shed his dragon lizard skin and then got out of it. He's shaking it off and he's ready to exit back to Greece where he comes from or Germany where the Queen comes from and that they're, they're going to go to Netherlands and we're going to be there with this flag to snap them. Yeah? Hang them. That's what this flag is. It's a hangman's noose flag. It's a decoration of war flags. They're using this flag, this lot of mongrels, using that flag, money, to cause all the wars in the world. It was not meant to cause wars. It was meant to stop anybody interfering with our contracts between Britain and us, these paramount chiefs, not Artikis. You can't have Artikis in a commercial world. It is a spirit. The Artikis are a native title spirit to the land by mouth. Okay? No written. No written. It's just verbal and natural. Okay? That's the Artiki. 
that's the Ariki. These ones have hijacked the Arikis in the islands, especially Tonga and Samoa. They've hijacked the Arikis, right? And Rarotonga and Hawaii and Tahiti. They've hijacked the Arikis, but not these paramount chiefs like Bani. And not going to hijack them. See? The Cook Islands on this side will save the Cook Islands on that side and wipe them out with this flag when it's live now. Okay, it's live now. Manahi, I'm saying to Manahi, I'm saying to this to you, Bundy, you look after the land, mate. You've got every right in the world now that you're armed with these documents. And they're here, there's too many of them to come and pull out and put everywhere, but we'll just take it as it comes, one day at a time. And they're online, there's enough information online of the stuff I put together. Just use the, the, the crown, the Moai crown, and the uh, land uh, information that I've got there. Under that uh, uh, title, the uh, Moriori Manikau title, and that includes the Cook Island title of the James Cook. Uh, title at the same time. Okay, we're putting those together and uh, we're, we're Manahi and I will look after the bank and the court, the magistrate court, although you're in the magistrate court as well, uh, for the physical part of the land titles and the who, 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 the who is who on the land. Okay, that, that's your job. So you'll have to fashion Ngāpui out on this side, not this side. Leave the iwi Māori here to stew in all their fraud and you take the lead, uh, Bundy and Hedowini. There's a few more years left than that guy. You just follow his lead and your lead and you'll be right. And I'll just knock up the same with the legal stuff that you understand and just pick it up and gather all the supporters up there. Don't matter which side they're on. If they're on that side, don't leap on this side if there's something in it. If we recover one land, we recover the whole lot. And you'll find those ones will jump back to where they should be. The hapus will jump out of the iwi and jump back into themselves. Then they'll be on the land already and then manage it. We've got a plan. We've got a plan, Bundy. It's here. I just have to give it to you. To follow your own Whakamininga plan is here. There's no need to reinvent anything. It's all here. And just a matter of implementing it. Take your time, because Rome wasn't built in a day. But it'll quicken up things once you get financial. And so I'm saying to Manahi, we'll set up the financial side of the bank and the um, Ratana Church on that side uh, goes with the Moriori title. It goes along with it because I know where everything is on that side of the Manukau title um, to make sure that they have expertise in uh, world uh, economic uh, project, projects and programs. So. There's no need to go and invent everything again. They can just carry on with that side of it. I'm going to look after the British end and where we fit in the contract. Look after the contract side of the um, British and us picking up the bits and putting them back together. Humpty Dumpty back together. London Bridge came falling down and we're going to put it back together again. Humpty Dumpty, make a new Humpty Dumpty and put them back together again. Bundy. <clears throat> uh, so uh, the call with uh, Manahi today was that I, I, I had a bit of a bother with a, a cold. I just think I've got over it now. Now I'm not all smothered up in clothes. I'm back in my convertible outfit, not choking anymore. So thanks to the lemon and the, the um, cider and these two little uh, power pills. These power pills. These are um, raw nitro and um, testro, test, uh, test red. I think this is a hormone thing, it's a testosterone thing that's going to make me leap up and down and make my blood boil and 
have one there. It's supposed to skin all the fat out of you. And, but uh, I want to see how they work. I'll write down religiously what happens when I eat this and that and have those fellas uh, and see if that makes a difference to my performance. And my performance has to be spot on when it comes to thinking straight about what I do. And the health has to be right when you're making decisions, especially on a level like this. The importance you need to know and have your wits about you, especially if we have a meeting with um, the people at the top of the, their so-called matrix. We're going straight to the top money and we have our rightful place there in the thick of the commerce and we have the proof right here with the flag uh, to say who we are as native, all the countries in the world that are waiting for us in the native countries, we are slowed up because it takes a long time for these uh, people here to wake up to all this going on. It's not that easy to just change 183 years overnight. So we're going to carefully make our way uh, overseas. Uh, one of my daughters has gone to London, so that's good for me to have uh, at least my family there, and the other one's going in August up to Thailand and across to Netherlands, so that's getting 460 miles away from Brussels, where I'm going to be, uh, with this flag, uh, in the World Court. That's our court uh, that we're going to, um, people. Uh, we have a right to be in there uh, by uh, uh, this flag and its um, um, association with us in that private contract of magistrate court. And we have the right to use native magistrate court in any court in the world uh, where the British are operating their commercial business. I believe there's about 38 countries in the world that are still British um, um, system um, of commercial trading, although we'll make a count of what's missing and where all the commerce has gone in the Queen Victoria Trust that belongs to us. I've been talking to a girl in the uh, Philippines and um, um, I try and get my um, messenger going uh, so that I can talk to her the same as I talk to Scotland and uh, our, my friends over there and um, Matt Taylor in, in Brighton. And there's quite a bit of news going on in Brighton um, at the moment. But, um, um, uh, 38 degrees. Uh, disappointed with them and their code for the areas when it's got their one box to tick for the world. A code for people around the world. There's no code for the people around the world uh, to um, support. What we're doing here is, is world, not just limited to Britain or Brighton. Uh, ban, Banping, ban, 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 uh, what's his name again? Um, in Syria degrees. He said, I'm um, false. I'll take offence to that. Um, Pamping, what's his name? Pamping. I wrote it down somewhere. Um. <coughs> if, if only they checked up to see who I am, they'll get a better understanding instead of just bowling ahead and bowling everybody out of the way. It's not going to make it look good when we're the ones holding the key here with this flag to the whole of Britain to save them. I just can't be bothered with um, that company if they're not supporting us with what we're doing. I had his name somewhere and why haven't I got it somewhere where I can see it? Bam, 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 bepping, bepping, Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on it, I'm looking for it. Bepping, so him, I won't bother. Um, so to him, um, your site, Bapping, has got a, a, a tick box for the world, not just Britain, and the code for for that is uh, not going to suit your British. Uh, alternative media site. It, it, not, it don't work because people 
complain that they can't get on the thing and we're here we are trying to, here we are in the whole rest of the world looking at you people the ones that are confused and lost and cause all the problem in the world to come from you in Britain and that's I have to use another medium source, media source, to get this message across. Okay? And uh, I'll just fire it up with Matt Taylor's Gorilla site. And he's got an alternative media as well. So, Matt, if you're watching this, I think we might have to use yours, mate. And uh, just send some money across uh, to get uh, get um, a petition King Ernest Augustus V to the throne because he is the rightful king of Britain, UK, Hanover, and out this way, um, inheritor of all that wealth that the Queen is stealing for herself and her family. We're going to take it off you with this king. That's why you've switched everything here and switched everything around the world. Just like a, uh, you, you altered you altered the uh, treason laws so that you can create treason and get away with it. You, you did that in 2008. You, you altered the Treason Act so that you can cause treason. You're a very, very corrupted woman, Queen Elizabeth. You've duped all these marriages over here on this side and they think you're a nice queen. Not really. When I come there, you're going to hang. Just like Queen Mary hung for treason. There's all those things that you've done to those kids and murdered them in the church. Church of England and the Catholic Church. Look at the churches now. They are the worst going on in this world is coming out of that church. The Catholic Church and the Church of England is looking real bad. And the Muslims got their own law, chop your head off. That, that, that's you people. You people have caused that. And destruction on the world. Poisoning this, poisoning that. And that's how you live. And you expect us, the Maui people, the water people in the Pacific, to live like that? Live like you do? I don't think so. I think your people in your country are passed off with you because they're, they're getting less rights than the immigrants that have just walked in, you let them in, Queen. You let them in. you the one that let them in. And you let them in all the other countries because you're in the EU and you've got a blue hat that's nothing to do with Britain. You're, you're promoting the EU Parliament. And I hope this message gets out to all those people in those countries pulling out. Pull out of that place because it's not right because we're going in there to bust them up with this flag and put the records straight because it's just like any money. One money equals bad as the other. We have the pound note. We have the rights to it through those kings. King William the Third, King William the Fourth, King Ernest Augustus the First, King er Ernest Augustus the Fifth, live king. To what you lot, he has the right to go into Westminster by a right of contract through us. He can go straight in there through us, the contract partner, when a threat on the national interest of Britain is at stake on Britain itself, it's you, Queen, who has made the threat against the people of Britain from a conflict of interest in the EU Parliament with all those thugs and pirates who are raking money out of the British people and all the other people in the world, the same as the UN is raking money out of America. And it had the cheek to just say now that if they don't give them the money from America, they'll go for somebody else and shut America out. See, this is the evil queen. You're running the United States federal state government with this flag. We're going to strip it off you and wet your head with it, with this flag, until you're hung and gone. On this video, I'm making this statement, you're the one that's a threat, a terrorist threat in Britain against the interests of Britain, but especially the interests of the partner in this contract, private contract in the Magistrate Court, in Westminster Magistrate Court, and us, a partner of those kings. 
right back to King Solomon and William the Conqueror, through to King William the Third, King William the Fourth, and now King Ernest Augustus V. You are a threat, the Queen. You are a threat, and your whole family is going to get axed with this flag and this new old king, legitimate king. You're not legitimate Queen Elizabeth. That's why you're running. You've packed your bags and gone, but you're still sitting there as if you're still there. Because when the shit hits the fan with this flag being there, you're going to run in your tunnel and go straight across in the tunnel to Brussels, where we'll be waiting on that end as well. well I'm telling you on this video for the record in Westminster and here in New Zealand that you have created treason fraud, genocide, all of everything in, in, in the Treason Act that you have legislated, put an act in to legislate it out of Westminster so that you can get away scot-free. You're not free of the woods because you've got us in the road with this flag and the contract that you have tampered with our private contract in the World Court as well and Westminster. You have tampered with our contract, Queen Elizabeth II, and all these Maoris, your Maoris on this side, Iwi Maoris, Crown Corporations, and all its agents, right through the world, have tampered with our King's Paramount Chief's title on this side. Okay, for that you get the biff on this side, and all these useless Maoris who are trying to tell me that I can't get the land. It's not your land, Rebecca Brightwell, and your name Brightwell is a funny name. You see, trying to steal Maori land from yourselves because you're the ones that own that Maori land, not these ones. You've duped these ones, but they've had enough. The Paramount Chiefs have had enough, and the Hapu are sick of you lot. That's duped the real natives. It's your Pākehā Māoris that have made your documents violated and corrupted these native Paramount Chiefs documents with your documents of no substance title. You can't substantiate your title on the land. These sheriffs will come and boot you out off the land, no matter what. They'll come and boot you out. There's Muslims over here, they're watching as well. They're pissed off with you lot too, on this side, for faking it. Just for, f and displacing them off their land. You, Brightwell, and your pirates in Australia. Because that's where you've come from, you're convicts. Your convicts are here in this country, corrupting this side, the good side. Can you fix this side up, mate? Kick them off the land, TT? Like how I said, I gave you the, the, the titles. I've got them here. Kick them off because it's our word against theirs. It's our word against it. So you, you, you fix it up, stay there, you're right there. And these Paramount Chiefs will cover that land block in Titi Marae before we get there on the 30th. And I'm saying this on this video so that you know and your radio station, Waikia, 6.03 AM, take note what I say is true. Nothing but truth, so help me God. There's nobody going to refute it at all, what I say with that flag. It is the most powerful flag in the world that created all the commerce and created the titles, the instruments that got you on the land in the first place. Okay, all your ancestors got on these lands through this flag. Don't argue, because you'll get a pound note on your head. I'm saying, Manahi and I will do the birth certificates because I've got mine, I'm going back again a second time to, to uh, Britain, to the Atrium Treasury and when I get there it'll be beer because this thug queen has drained it all out and took it into somewhere else. They'll find it, the British military will find it because we'll give them the orders to find it. We'll give them the orders straight into the World Court. If any of you muck around on this side, you're going straight into the World Court because that's our court with this flag belongs on that court and in <coughs> Westminster.
that's the world court flag. This one. That's missing. It's it, it. They know it should be there. They know it should be in the magistrate courts in London, the high courts in London, the Supreme Court in London, Westminster Parliament. It should be in there, in the magistrate court in Westminster, Paddington, Westminster City. That's where we're going. We're going there to sort it out. And um, so um, uh, from now until the 30th, I'll be putting the documents together for. Uh, to, to save less less confusion, uh, six, six, 61, one, bar, 1 bar 61 Cook Street, 77 Cook Street will be seized, the same time as uh, Tete Land Blocks, the Ututonga, Ututonga title, one house on the whole of Bay of Islands title is here, and so that'll be seized once Kingy boots the trustees, these trustees off the land. They're only trustee landowners, they are not real paramount chief landowners. These guys have the last say. When the titles have been corrupted, fraud taken place on their land, their native land, they can boot you lot out and off any bit of land in this country and the Pacific Island. Boot you right out with this land because it's live now. It's live now. We have livened it up in the 1834, 20th, 20th of March, 1834 and 1831, back to 1820. It's live from 1820 in Edinburgh, Scotland, into Westminster. Westminster holds the titles, not Scotland. Westminster owns all the copyrights and the patents of all the land titles in the native countries that have been seized by the king and conquered by the king and leased out and occupy, occupation land titles only. When there's a fraud on a land and we are not happy about it, we can seize it by right of conquest. There. And, and it's a waste of time going to court because you'll lose. The court has no case to answer to anybody because <coughs> everybody knows what we're going to do. That's what I tried to do with Cook Street and they tampered with our information on their title by not putting the Manukau's name on their title. That's a law. Broke the law. They broke the law in the Lynn's Land Information News. Broke the law. We've exhausted all the legal avenues to have our justice in the court, and they failed. I never got my court case in Open District Court. They just hushed it out like that and left me not having my, my court hearing. We've had our court hearing up in Waitangi to replace that court hearing and open up the native grand jury trial magistrate court in New Zealand in Titi Morai. That's the end of it. When the trustee's off, that kicks into action. We start seizing land right through this country and the Pacific Islands from there. So take note, all you people in the Pacific Islands, all you people here on this side of the Queen Corrupted, you're going to get the bill from this lot and all those Hapus in your countries are going to screw you up from this side with their sheriffs going to follow the lead and Hawaii and Hawaii you take it from this because you're controlled by the United States from Britain. The Queen has jumped ship, she's jumped overboard the Admiralty ship here and gone off into the EU Parliament. She's still got her bags ready to go from Britain and jump because the signs are there. All of a sudden, Prince, William, Prince Philip resigns because he knows he's caught. He, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, the Queen is shifty with her blue hat and no formal um, um, attire in <coughs> um, traditional opening of Parliament in Westminster because it's in a disarray. array with Theresa May in a whole lot of trouble. The same as Bill English is in a whole lot of trouble. They're asking for his head to be rolled now and and resign, forced resign, and Theresa May forced resign. She is the pinnacle of the corrupted fraud elite government in Westminster that's been hooking the money up for the EU Parliament in Brussels. You got the Parliament there, but not the World Court and the World. Bank. We're having the World Bank.
my powerhouse bank to seize everything off the Bank of England and shut them down. Just like that. With this king, Ernest Augustus V. A lot of people are that ignorant. They don't realise they've got a king that'll save them and a flag that'll save them from all the disaster right through the world. Because you've got a fraud king, queen, and no king. They cannot make another king out of Prince Charles or Prince William because I'm telling you, that's not this William. That's the crooked, fraud, corrupted King George side on that side. King George I, King George II, King George V, and King George VI on that side. It's fraud against the King George III, the father of King George IV, <coughs> and the, the son, King Ernest Augustus I, and King William IV. Those kings on this side is this bloodline to Ernest Augustus that we're petitioning to go and take over Britain as the old legitimate King of Britain, UK, who should have been in there in the first place instead of the Queen. Okay, I'm telling you a true story. You're going to find out in the end that he belongs to all this inheritance with us. We're partners in it. Him, us, the Navy, Royal British Navy, and King William of Orange, World Court, where we throw all you pirates over here into there by default of your Queen threat against us, Paramount Chiefs, our contract, two-way contract, with Britain, UK, Westminster, and the Lords have got to go. All you Lords in Westminster has got to go. Matt Taylor, we got to sack him. we got to sack him, mate, with this flag and the Paramount Chiefs here. That's it. And Manahi, the Justice of the Peace in the courts for the Queen's Bench Court and the King's Bench Court, he can talk for both to authenticate the documents that I have in our own way of writing and our own King William the Third of Orange, Westminster Parliament laws, acts and ordinances from 1650 to 1703 and acts of Westminster Parliament and ordinances from 1830 to 1837 period. That's it. And King George the <coughs> Fourth, the period just before King William the Fourth came, his brother came in that period of, of time as well. <coughs> That's our title. That's our title. You can't get past that. Bill English and your people in, in New Zealand, you're stuffed with these paramount chiefs now over you. You can't produce any evidence of title. Okay, that's all I want to say for now. I'm going to take a walk up around the block. I think it might stop raining. I'll, I'll, I'll go and have a little exercise at least because I was going to go to the gym, but I've got plenty of work to do. I'm going to get on with it, really. Okay, so have a nice day. Bye for now.